okay this was the problem okay employing the akumura model compute the median loss means l50 at a distance of 10 kilometer means small d is equal to 10 kilometer when the frequency fc is equal to 2.1 gigahertz assume st height of transmitting antenna is 40 meter hre height of receiving antenna is 2 meter for large city the city is mentioned there because we have seen the median medium city and uh, small city if eirp what is eirp can anyone effective isotropic radiated power it is nothing but the transmitted power pt it is required to calculate the received power okay so pt is equal to 1 kilowatt at carrier frequency find the received power for the same scenario okay also use the same conditions to apply over a hatta model and comment on it means first you have to calculate the received power by using a akumura model and then find out the received power by using a hatta model okay if uh, you solve it already then it's very good if not then we will go in fast manner carrier frequency is 2.1 gigahertz means it is 2.1 into 10 raised to 9 hertz uh, the speed of light we know and frequency is given 2.1 gigahertz frequency is 2.1 gigahertz by using that one we can calculate the lambda i will not give the separate time to uh, write the notes you simultaneously write it so lambda wavelength is equal to c by f 3 into 10 raised to 8 divided by 2.1 into 10 raised to 9 which is equal to 0.143 meter is the wavelength now uh, first we will uh, see about the akumura model and we know in akumura model the median loss l50 db is equal to lf plus amu minus gst minus ghre minus g area okay we know all the terms l50 is nothing but the median loss lf is the pre space loss then plus amu is nothing but the attenuation which is depending upon the frequency and distance between transmitter and receiver gst means gain of transmitter ghre is the gain of receiver and gare means the gain of environment okay so one by one we will calculate the terms first we will calculate the free space loss the free space loss is equal to we know the equation for free space loss here is the equation this one pl free space loss is equal to 10 pt upon pr is equal to minus 10 log of lambda square upon 4 pi square d square it is called as a lf means free space loss so we use this equation to find out the free space loss so minus 10 log of lambda square upon 4 pi square d square here this minus sign is neglected it is not like that you directly neglect it you uh, reverse this uh, uh, ratio okay so it becomes plus 10 log of it becomes 4 pi square d square upon lambda square now we know all the values d is equal to 10 kilometer means 10 into 10 raised to 3 it's square 4 pi square divided by lambda we calculated already 0.143 meter okay so by doing the calculation we will get lf is equal to 118 db okay then next term is to find out g h t e and g h r e so in akumura model again this is somewhat a recap okay these are the equation for g h t e and g h r e it having two conditions when h r e is less than three meter okay so what is the height of antenna receiving antenna how much it is height of receiving antenna two meter two meter means it is less than three meter so g h r e you use this one 10 log of h r e by 3 okay. so here we use the equations STE is equal to 40 meter, HRE is equal to 2 meter, then GST is equal to 20 log of ST upon 200, it gives minus 14 dB, and GHRE is equal to 10 log of HRE by 3, it gives minus uh, 1.76 dB. Okay, 
then this attenuation we know uh, this attenuation is depending upon the two values f and d so frequency is 2.1 gigahertz and uh, uh, the distance between transmitter and receiver is 10 kilometer so we know in akumura model this value is calculated using a graph okay so this graph is here this graph is here okay on x axis frequency is there 2.1 gigahertz means here okay see the cursor at this point and 10 kilometer means this curve okay so at a point where it get intersect where it get intersect and it is nothing but the attenuation so it is approximately 30 or 31 db 30 or 31 db i think that value we have taken okay so it is approximately 32 db in this way in akumura model by using a graph we need to calculate or find out the value of attenuation and area <coughs> g area it is called as a connection factor it is not uh, it is equal to zero for large city keep in mind g area connect correction factor correction factor for large city it is equal to zero now we know lf value ame value gt gre value uh, we put all these values in this equation and it gives the L50 means the median loss median loss is equal to 167 dB median loss is equal to 167 dB now uh, find the received power okay we have L50 then uh, uh, in same same L50 value we can calculate by using a Hata model so in Hata model in Hatta model, we know the equation. So this is the Hatta model equation. L50 is equal to this one. Okay, that you have used this equation and put the values only. All the values you know here. Okay. So ha. here, this AHRE value, we need to find out. It depends upon the conditions. Okay. Here the large size CT, okay, and the FC 2.1 gigahertz, okay, FC is 2.1 gigahertz. <coughs> That's why we need to use this equation for AHRE. We need to use this equation for AHRE. So here, this equation is used to find out AHRE, and it gives AHRE is equal to 1.04 dB. Okay, so this value. Uh, and remaining values are already given fc in megahertz value huh? fc in megahertz you consider here fc in megahertz by putting all these values uh, in hatta model you will get the median loss is equal to 270.9 db 270.9 db in in akumara model it is 167 db in hatta model it is 279 point uh, 270.9 db like this one okay now how to calculate the received power okay before that we know uh, here uh, i wrote the equation for received power so received power is equal to transmitted power minus loss median loss you write it's very very important received power is equal to transmitted power minus median loss now we have both the values uh, in case of uh, uh, hatta model also we calculated the uh, l50 value and in hatta model also we calculate the l50 value okay now see here uh, here uh, the power is given in uh, uh, watt okay in uh, problem and all the remaining values are in uh, db okay so we need to convert this uh, kilowatt value in db how that we will see here your db value db is equal to 10 log of p1 upon p0 this is a generalized equation huh? this is the generalized equation and how to calculate dbm value dbm value is equal to 10 log of p1 divided by so this p0 <coughs> you consider it as a 1 milliwatt it is compulsory value p0 it is the reference power you need to consider you need to consider 1 milliwatt compulsory okay now here p1 value is 1 kilowatt p1 
P1 value is one kilowatt divided by one milliwatt. Okay, so it gives one mega. It gives one mega. Understand? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Ah, it's very simple. And then it gives sixty dBm value. It gives sixty dBm. Okay, so one dBm is equal to dBw plus thirty. One dBm is equal to dBw plus thirty. It's a standard equation. Now we have to calculate the value in watt, dB watt. Okay, so dB watt is equal to sixty minus thirty. Only this dBm value is sixty. dBm value is sixty. So sixty is equal to dB watt plus thirty. Therefore, dB watt is equal to sixty minus thirty. It gives thirty. It gives thirty. Therefore, PR is equal to PT minus L fifty. So PR in dB is equal to PT in dB minus L fifty in dB. Okay. So PR is equal to thirty minus PT is thirty minus one sixty seven. For Okumura, the median loss is one sixty seven. It gives minus one thirty seven dB received power. In case of in case of Hatta model, the L fifty median loss is. 271 so 30 minus 271 it gives minus 241 db so in this way we calculate the received power uh, for both akumura model and hatta model okay clear clear the concept how to find out it you just take the screenshot of it take screenshot of it Yes. Sir. Take screenshot. Ah, uh, take screenshot of it. Yes. Sir. Okay. Then next topic is ground reflection model. It is also called as a two-ray model. Ground reflection model. It is also called as a two-ray model. It's very very important. Frequently asked question for six to eight marks. Okay. Now, first we will see uh, the drawback of free space propagation model. we know it is based on certain assumptions and it is applicable for line of sight communication only means the satellite communication uh free space propagation means where the communication takes place on the basis of line of sight communication line of sight communication means what uh transmitter to receiver directly it is called as a line of sight okay and uh, it is not applicable for other because in mobile communication uh, it rarely happen uh, only we uh, we are saying that uh, it is impossible to have a line of sight communication okay in case of satellite we know uh, uh, here is the transmitter here is the receiver transmitter transmit the signal uh, to the satellite and satellite directly transmit that signal to the receiver tower transmitter tower to satellite satellite to receiver tower and that is called as a um uh, free space means line of sight communication okay but in mobile communication what happen uh, the user having mobile means the transmitted signal the transmitted signal is transmitted uh, towards the tower transmitter tower and from transmitter tower to the receiver when the signal transmitted when the signal transmitted uh, it will not happen that the signal directly received to the mobile okay the signal having a different kind of obstacle okay that we have seen 
the human is one of obstacle uh, vehicles are obstacle animals are obs obstacle buildings are obstacle uh, sea water any kind of water is the obstacle okay and from all these obstacles the signal reflected refracted and scattered and then comes to your uh, mobile and addition of all this signal takes place to find out the received power okay in mobile communication but in case of satellite communication target is fixed from transmitter satellite satellite to receiver so the target is fixed that's why it is possible to have a line of sight communication but in case of mobile there is a uh, very rare or not a possibility of line of sight communication uh, different kind of signals are received at the received mobile okay that's why free space propagation model uh, is normally not uh, applicable for the mobile communication uh, the propagation model which is used for mobile communication is called as a ground reflection or two ray model it is called as a two ray model okay clear yes or no samajh lega yes or no yes sir yes sir okay now in detail uh, the diagram of it uh, and uh, find out the uh, strength you can say or the equation of uh, received signal at the mobile okay so uh, this is a diagram in exam also you need to draw this diagram okay now uh, this one this is the ground this is the ground okay uh, this is the transmitted tower you, you can say transmitted tower height of transmitted tower is ht this is the uh, received tower receiver height of receiver tower is hr okay now from transmitter two kinds of signal are transmitted or or we can say at the receiver two kinds of signals are received okay one is line of sight you can see this one directly from transmitter to receiver it is called as a line of sight signal yellow that uh, signal uh, we call it as elos okay means electric field of line of sight signal okay and the second signal is a reflected signal or you can say refracted signal or scattered signal okay any kind of signal okay so this signal on ground and from ground to receiver okay so this is only a representation of uh, different uh, kinds of signal whether it is reflected refract refracted or scattered signal you can say hmm? so two kinds of signal received at the receiver one is line of sight and second one is the other signals you can say okay that's why it is called as a two ray model that's why it is called as a two ray model so here elos is the electric field of line of sight signal and second one is the ei okay ei is the incident signal okay and uh, here i think it is eg is the uh, uh, word used for uh, that is called as the other signal and that is called as a gracing gracing incident signal it is called a eg means gracing incident so it can be any kind of signal reflected refracted or scattered signal okay so this ei is equal to eg okay so the signal received at the receiver is the addition of so e total here you can see e total is equal to e los plus eg e los plus eg so theta i is the incident angle and theta 0 is the angle made by this gracing incident wave with the ground theta i and theta 0 clear all these terms of ground reflection or yes, two ray model yes or no yes sir okay ata uh, here some assumptions or some conditions are there which are the conditions height of antenna height of antenna are larger than wavelength of propagation wave so we know uh, wavelength is denoted by lambda and height of the antenna is nothing but st st into hr so the condition is that the ht into hr should be very very large than the wavelength of transmitter wavelength of transmitter second condition is that height of antenna are lesser than the separation distance okay so 
this small d keep in mind small d uh, is the distance between transmitter and receiver okay so this distance should be very very large as compared to the height of antennas so ht into hr is less than d is less than d okay so these are uh, some important assumptions or conditions in ground reflection model so how they can use in further equation that we will see okay now here our aim is to find out the magnitude of this electric field at the receiver magnitude of uh, electric field of the receiver now it is very important to understand or to know uh, what is the equation of electric field basically okay so we will see first the generalized equation of electric field then we calculate it for line of sight electric field and calculate it for uh, we say it is a gracing incident uh, electric field or uh, reflected electric field in short we can say reflected electric field now uh, see this one uh, so this is the generalized equation generalized equation for electric field so e dt d is the distance uh, between transmitter and receiver and t is the time at a particular time you can say is equal to e0 is the reference value of uh, electric field d0 is the reference distance with respect to e0 d0 is the reference distance with respect to e0 divided by d d is nothing but the distance between transmitter and receiver so in total e0 d0 by d is called as amplitude is called as amplitude just upon signal the normal signal of cos a cos theta so a is the amplitude okay or we can say a cos omega omega ct uh, minus omega uh, to omega c t minus theta omega ct minus theta okay likewise so this is the equation so this is the amplitude and this is the ang uh, this is the angle this is the angle so here this is the notation only the line of sight distance we denoted as d dash keep in mind line of sight distance we called as d dash and the incident or reflected uh, signal distance uh, is d double dash d dash is the line of sight distance and uh, reflected distance we called it as d double dash okay now here only the adjustment is there uh, let me see in next uh, slide also is it there or not okay okay see read it if e0 is the pre space electric field means it is called as a reference huh? at a reference distance d0 e0 is the reference electric field for distance d0 from transmitter then this d means the actual distance between transmitter and receiver it is greater than d0 it is greater than d0 d0 is the reference d0 is the reference so the electric field the equation is e0 d0 upon d cos of omega c t minus d upon c t minus d upon c okay so direct wave travel at a distance d dash we know line of sight means the direct transmission and reflected wave travel distance d double dash okay so line of sight travel the distance d dash and reflected signal travel the distance d double dash okay so here only uh, uh, the re uh, replacement of d okay so for line of sight electric field it is instead of d it is d dash of t is equal to e0 d0 upon d dash cos of omega c t minus d dash upon c got it as equation number one now for uh, reflected signal we denoted, denoted it as eg d double dash of t is equal to this is called as reflection factor this tau tau is called as a reflection factor e0 d0 d double dash instead of d only cos of omega c t minus d double dash upon c so this is the electric field for reflected signal electric field for the line of sight signal okay yes or no got it yes sir okay now 
Yes, so okay, next one. Uh, we know theta i. What is theta i? Theta i is this one, and theta zero is this one. Okay, angle, angle of incident. For small value of theta i, reflected wave is equal in magnitude. Reflected wave is equal in magnitude and 180 degree out of phase with incident wave. This one, this angle, this angle, these angles are 180 degree out of phase. 180 degree out of phase. Okay. So here we know uh, this is a line of sight electric field and this is incident uh, or reflected electric field. At the receiver, addition takes place. Okay. So here we take the addition. E0 D0 D dash cos of omega C T minus D dash upon C uh, minus 1. Why it is minus this, re this reflection factor? This reflection factor tau. Why we consider this tau is equal to minus 1? Can anyone tell? It's very, very important. Here is the answer. And this answer is equal to minus 1. Upper sentence. So 180 degree out of phase. Yes, incident angle and your reflected angle. These are out of phase. Okay, that's why it is a negative sign. Reflection factor is negative. Okay. So E0 D0 D double dash cos of omega C T minus D, D double dash upon C. It's very, very simple. Fakta kai kele hiya don equation chi addition get li liya hai. By considering this tau is equal to minus 1 because it is 180 degree out of phase. It is 180 degree out of phase. Atapa. Why it is called the ground reflection? To calculate some values. So this upper value above the ground and uh, there is a mirror image below the ground there is mirror image below the ground the mirror image put the card to find out the values for uh, d dash d double dash okay so see this one uh, this is the part uh, you for some time you forget about the uh, mirror image you forget about the mirror image Mikai Keller, this distance, this distance, Mikai Keller Tela, Kali tilt Keller. I tilt it at the below side. I tilt it at the below side. So approximately the point is here. Approximately the point is here. And then I uh, use this one, the he a line duckly, and it forms a it forms a triangle. It forms a triangle he has a triangle tire will pass it forms a triangle now what we call this triangle is a triangle hmm? here here this dotted line this dotted line this d double dash yes and from this to this from this to this cursor the cursor moving from this this distance is ht this distance is hr up to this one then here this line and this distance is d double dash the reflected signal traveling distance is d double dash so it forms a right angle triangle it forms a right angle triangle so by using this one we can easily we know from this to this the distance is d and this this side is nothing but ht plus hr this distance is ht plus hr this distance is d by using that one we can easily calculate d double dash okay so in same way here upper upper triangle this distance we know it is d see my cursor this distance is d now this height the total height is ht and uh, this height we can say at the here height and here height there if we draw a correct uh, ground reflection uh, uh, drawing then this height at the dot to this height is hr barobar hai na 
from this to this this height is hr and the total height is ht therefore the remaining height this height is nothing but ht minus hr so this height is ht minus hr this distance is d so we can easily calculate d dash we can easily calculate d dash so here the path difference the path difference delta is equal to d double dash minus d dash manje reflected सिग्नल ने कवर के डिस्टन्स माइनस लाइन ऑफ साइट डिस्टन्स दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ पाथ डिफरेंस सो पाथ डिफरेंस इज डिनेटेड बाय डेल्टा इज इक्वल टू डी डबल डैश माइनस डी डैश इज इक्वल टू आता डी डबल डैश हाउ वी कैन कैलक्युलेट डी डबल डैश बाय यूजिंग राइट एंगल ट्रैंगल सो एच टी प्लस एच आर स्क्वे प्लस डी स्क्वे स्क्वे रूट ऑफ दिस वन ओके माइनस हाउ टू कैलक्युलेट डी डैश वी नो एच टी माइनस एच आर स्क्वे प्लस डी स्क्वे स्क्वे रूट इतपर्यत समझ लेस और नो यस इट्स वेरी सिंपल इट्स वेरी सिंपल ओके व्हेन द ट्रांसमीटर रिसीवर डिस्टेंस इज वेरी लार्ज कंपेर टू एच टी प्लस एच आर सिंपली यूजिंग टेलर्स सीरीज एप्रोक्सिमेशन हियर वी यूज द टेलर्स सीरीज एप्रोक्सिमेशन इट्स वेरी सिंपल डेल्टा इज इक्वल टू नाउ फ्रॉम धीस वन एट राइट साइड वी टेक डी कॉमन वी टेक डी कॉमन वेन वी टेक डी कॉमन इट बिकम्स इंस्टेड ऑफ डी स्क्वेर इट बिकम्स डी इट बिकम्स डी स्क्वेर रूट ऐसी बाहर घर तो क्या डी हो इन स्क्वे रूट एच टी प्लस एच आर अपॉन डी स्क्वे प्लस वन माइनस हियर ऑल्सो यू टेक डी कॉमन एच टी माइनस एच आर अपॉन डी स्क्वे प्लस वन now here we use one standard uh, formula 1 plus x root root of 1 plus x okay now here uh, this x is nothing but ht plus hr upon d square x is nothing but ht plus hr upon d square and one is there so 1 plus x root is equal to 1 plus x by 2 1 plus x by 2 so here if we use this equation it becomes d in bracket 1 plus this one x divided by 2 so x is ht plus hr hmm its square divided by d square and it is 2 ha jo 2 aaye to ithe getla minus d same happened here same happened here okay now uh, you can uh, simplify this equation हा टू डी स्क्वे जर इत घी डी कैंसल होल डी कैंसल हो और इत का डी कॉमन घर द डी इज कॉमन इन साइड द ब्रैकेट सो धीस वन एंड धीस माइनस वन गेट कैंसल रिमेनिंग पार्ट इज एच टी प्लस एच आर स्क्वे माइनस एच टी माइनस एच आर स्क्वे डिवाइडेड बाय टू डी स्क्वे टू डी स्क्वे एज इट इज सो इट इज इक्वल टू वेन वी सीम्प्लिफाई ए प्लस बी स्क्वे एंड ए माइनस बी स्क्वे you will get this kind of equation and when you solve it you will get 4 ht hr divided by 2d square okay now 1d 1d get cancel 2 and this 2 uh, get cancel it remains 2 ht hr upon d 2 ht hr upon d means the path difference the path difference delta is equal to 2 ht hr upon d what is ht height of transmitting antenna hr is height of receiving antenna divided by d d is the separation between these two uh, antennas with a scaling factor 2 that is called as a path difference so it required to calculate the uh, received electric field so how to you calculate the received electric field that we will see in next lecture so up to this understood yes or no yes sir okay again uh, you just take the screenshot screenshot of it हाँ 
take screenshot of it yes finished yes sir yes sir Okay. Done.